You've heard that Screenster is cool, but seeing is believing. Instead of doing a silly hello world automation video, I'm going to make it interesting. I'm going to show how I will automate a smoke test for Gmail, the single page app full of Ajax, crazy app IDs that are dynamically generated, and modified DOM. And I'll do it in less than two minutes. So let's get started. I have installed Screenster locally. I'm going to now open the browser and connect to the Screenster server. First, I will create the project, give it a name, and hit Save. Once the project is created, Screenster offers me to record my first test. I will name my test and provide the URL of the server that the test will be connecting to, which is gmail.com, the real Gmail. I'm going to choose Chrome as my recording browser and start login session just like I would logging into Gmail as a user. Screenster records all my steps and input. Once I logged in, I see the contents of my mailbox. I have two emails and I'm pretty much done with the smoke test at this point. Screenster has created the visual baseline based on my steps. It now offers me to rerun the test case so it can detect dynamic areas of the UI. After doing this, the last step is read. Let's open and see why. The footer says that there is another concurrent session on Gmail. That's because of my previous run. To keep some things simple, I will just ignore this change from subsequent runs. I'm going to click on the footer and create an ignore region, telling Screenster that in further runs, it should not compare the contents of the footer. Now my test became green and I'm pretty much done with the automation. To verify that my automation is complete, I will rerun the test again in Chrome. And as you see, it comes back green. That means my smoke test is running. Everything matches the baseline and I'm done. Now let's make it interesting again. I'm going to send myself an email using another account and see if my smoke test with Screenster will catch the difference. I'm just saying hello to myself and sending the email. I'll switch back to the Screenster server and rerun my smoke test, seeing if the changes are picked up. Choose Chrome again, run the test. It plays back every step, captures every screenshot, and voila, the last step is red. Why is it red? I'm looking at the differences with the baseline and seeing that there is an extra email and the previous emails are shifted down, putting the new email to the top. This time I'm going to approve this change because it was expected. And this is the new state of my mailbox. I'm going to edit the test case and approve the new screenshot to the baseline, returning my state of the test to green. Notice how on the project level, the test also shows up as green, which means I am in good shape again. That is pretty much all there is to automating Gmail. There's a lot of other cool functionality in Screenster, which you can discover by going to Screenster.io. Good luck, folks.